Welcome back guys, and this is the very first video of the Tyrannus series playlist. Throughout this playlist I'll be showing you how to do custom images, custom sounds, update firmware, uh, set up your telemetry, uh, set up switches, alarms and alerts, and many other things. I just wanted to take the time to make this video to get everyone familiarized with it, show you all the different menus and setting changes that you can make. Uh, so we can go ahead and set everything up for the upcoming videos. So let's go ahead and begin. The very first thing before we even go into the Tranus, I want to talk about the battery charger because when I purchased mine a long time ago, it did not come with the battery charger. They actually removed it from the box for some reason. I purchased my own battery charger off of Amazon for, I don't know, about $7, something like that. Uh, all you need is a 12 volt charger. Uh, the amperage really doesn't matter. I believe what it's supposed to have is a uh, 0.5 or half an amp charger at 12 volts. This one is actually uh, 8 tenths of an amp, but I've also used a 1.5 amp charger on it, and it works just fine, as long as it's 12 volts. On the other end, you just need a basic barrel plug connector. This will plug into the side right here. I'll go ahead and plug it into the wall. Then if you flip it around to the back, you'll see this green light blinking. Once this green light is a solid green light, then that's how you know it's fully charged. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin. To turn it on, you will just flip this up. Welcome to OpenTX. Throttle warning. I'm now just going to hit the enter button to get through these warning messages. Switch warning. Now what you saw when I first turned it on was a custom splash screen. Uh, that will be an upcoming video. Uh, the warning screens, I'll actually show you how to turn those off if you do want those turned off because they are pretty annoying. Now this is the main main menu. At the very top left we will see a voltage. This is the voltage of your Tranus battery, not the voltage of your multi-rotor battery. In another upcoming video I will show you how to get your multi-rotor battery voltage right next to that. Here you have your time. Uh, this right here is basically just your switches. If you flip the switches up and down, you'll see the arrow is moving. And then if you press the page button, it's going to do basically the same thing. It's just a different layout. Uh, I like to use this to test switches. Sometimes if a switch is supposed to be doing something but it's not doing it, you don't know if it's a bad switch or if you accidentally didn't set something up right. So this is how you can test your switches. Uh, once again, just keep pressing page, and it's the same thing, just different layouts. Now if you press the menu button, this will take you to your model screen. That shows you all the different models that you have created. If you haven't created any, then you won't have any. Well, you'll have one. Uh, you can press the plus and minus arrow to go up and down, and you can create up to 60 of them. I will actually take you further into your model in just a second, but uh, if you hit the exit button, that's how you go backwards pages. Now I showed you what happens if you press the page button, it's just going to change the layout of your main screen, but if you hold down the page button, that will take you to your telemetry screen. It's not going to show anything now because we haven't set it up yet, uh, but that will be an upcoming video. You can press the exit button to exit out of that, go back to the main screen. Uh, now this time if we hold down the menu button instead of pressing it, that will actually take you to your settings screen. And there is actually nine screens. You'll see here where it says one of nine. So if you want, go ahead and set up your date and time. Uh, battery meter range, I, I really wouldn't adjust that. Uh, like I said, that is for the battery of the trans, not your multi-rotor. Uh, you can change your uh, volumes for everything. A bunch of screen options. Uh, battery low voltage. This will actually warn you when the trans battery gets low. It's going to have some kind of message uh, telling you that it's getting low. It needs to be charged. I will actually show you how to change that to make it say whatever you want it to say. Um, well, that applies to everything, really. Um, that's going to be in the custom sounds video. Inactivity. This will warn you if you accidentally leave this turned on, uh, which I do all the time. 
I've got mine set for five minutes, but you can put yours wherever you want. Uh, you can even change the color of the screen. Now to make changes, I'll go ahead and show you. Just press the enter button and it will start blinking and then press the plus or minus arrow to make your changes. And that's how you change the screen color. Now, uh, once you have it where you want it, just press enter again to save it. And that's pretty much it for the first screen. So go ahead and make all of your setting changes. Then when you press the page button, you will see where it goes to page two of nine. Uh, you really don't have to mess with this screen because we will actually make all of these changes through a through a computer and different software, uh, which makes things a lot faster and easier. Uh, if you do want to play a game though, it does have Snake, so go to Scripts, press Enter, go to Games, Enter, and then press Snake. Then Execute, then you can use your joysticks and play Snake. Uh, to get out of stuff, once again, just press exit, exit, and now we're back here. So I'll go back to page two of nine. <clears throat> now let's move on to page three. We won't, we really don't ever have to mess with this, not us multi rotor guys. Uh, four of nine, this is going to be your trainer. Uh, I'll make another video coming up. You can actually hook your trainers up to your computer and play flight simulators. It's almost like a video game where you're flying a multi rotor. It's uh, not only fun, but really good practice, especially on rainy days when you can't actually go out and fly. Uh, so let's continue. Here is where you can see what version of firmware you have. Yours is probably different from mine. I right now have 2.1.8, but it is due for another firmware update, so I will show you guys how to do that. Just a little side note, if you do ever need to reset anything, you can hold down the enter button to reset your EEPROM, or EEPROM backup, I should say. Or if you hold down the menu button, it will do a factory reset. Uh, here is your switch test. It's just like what you saw on the main screen. I don't ever use this. I just use the one on that main screen. Uh, analog inputs is basically, instead of switches, it's these switches but the analog switches the ones that actually turn instead of only have two or three positions uh, calibration if it if you ever feel like your joysticks are not uh, calibrated right then you can recalibrate them here and uh, it, it completely walks you through that so I'm not going to do it uh, all you do is just follow the directions and I mean it's, it's very simple and now we are back on page one of nine where we begin. So now hit the exit button and we were back to the main menu. And that's pretty much going to do it for this video guys. I just wanted to get you familiarized with it and have you go ahead and make your settings uh, on, you know, throughout these pages. Uh, that way we can be set up and ready to go in these upcoming videos. So that's going to do it for this one. I will see you soon.